everyone here we have a question on ratio the question is state whether the following ratios are equivalent or not so we have given two question the first one is 2 is to 3 and 4 is to 5 now there are two ways of solving this like the one which is very simple and the second one is we have to solve like uh, we have our four five steps there now the first one which I want to tell you you can use it when we have like MCQ type or we have it's like a fill in the blank type of question so how to do that so the first one we have a uh, 2 is to 3 and uh, 4 is to 5 now we have to compare them like we have to see if they're equivalent or not that is they're equal or not so you have learned that ratios can be written in a fractional form which is like 2 is to 3 can be written as 2 by 3 and 4 is to 5 can be written as 4 by 5 now the easy way is you just cross multiply that is you're going to use a butterfly method not exactly butterfly just cross multiply you're going to multiply 5 with 2 you're going to multiply 3 with 4 okay 5 twos are is 10 and 3 fours are is 12 now do you see the number 10 and 12 are the equal no which means is this are also not equal this ratios are also not equal or the fractions are also not equal you can directly write down that yes they are not equal okay this is the easy way of doing it now in case if we have to solve and you have to show the answer in two or three steps you have to take like LCM and then do it which I'm going to show you right now so we have a number 2 is to 3 and 4 is to 5 and this number can be written by written as 2 is to 3 sorry 2 by 3 and 4 by 5 now like we are in a fraction form now you have learned how to compare the fraction right so you have to take a LCM of the denominator and then you have to change the numerator now LCM we have to take because denominators are not same we have a 3 and we have 5 so first we're going to do is we're going to take LCM of the denominator which is 3 and 5 and the LCM is 15 now we're going to change the denominator of both the number by finding the equivalent uh, number of this so 2 by 3 equivalent will be now see I want 15 in the denominator so with 3 what we should multiply to get 15 it is 5 so multiply 5 in the numerator and denominator will get 10 by 15 same thing we have to do with the second number we have 4 by 5 so 4 by 5 equivalent number we have to get with 15 in the denominator we want 15 there so with 5 what we should multiply to get 15 it is 3 so multiply 3 in the numerator and denominator will get 12 by 15 so now we're going to compare we got the same denominator right so we're going to compare the numerators now so this is what you have learned in your lawyer classes when you have to compare the fractions or the rational numbers you make the denominator same by taking LCM and once you change the denominator you compare the numerator now if you see here we have 10 by 15 and we have 12 by 15 now what do you think are they equal no they are not equivalent so this ratio that is 2 is to 3 is also not equal to 4 is to 5 they are not equivalent okay I hope this question is clear this is similar to how you do for the fractions and rational number the same way now the second question they're not equal I hope you understood why they're not equal and the second one I'm going to show you the same one again like I'm going to first show you the easy one 1 is to 3 and 2 is to 6 now 1 is to 3 can be written as 1 by 3 and 2 is to 6 can be written as 2 by 6 now cross multiply them 6 will get multiplied with 1 and 3 will get multiplied with 2 2 so 6 ones are 6 and 2 threes are 6 so you can see they are equal which means these ratios are also equal now I'm going to show you the other way that is by taking LCM and solve it. So 1 by 1 is to 3 can be written as 1 by 3 and 2 is to 6 can be written as 2 by 6. See so you can reduce 2 by 6 here itself. You can cancel 2 by 6 because they are not reduced in uh, okay or you can reduce like 2 ones are and 2 threes are 6. We got 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 and 1 by 3 they are equal right. You can conclude the answer here itself or you want to take a LCM and do it you can take LCM and do it that is one more option so let me show you with the LCM also so LCM of 3 and 6 will be 6 I hope you know why we're taking LCM to make denominator same now for the first number we have 3 right so we're gonna change the denominator we're gonna find its equivalent uh, fraction so with 3 what we should multiply to get 6 it is 2 
So multiply 2 in the numerator and denominator will get 2 by 6. For the second number I am not changing because we already have a 6 in the denominator. Now see the 1 by 3 e equivalent is 2 by 6 and the second number what we have is also 2 by 6. So 2 by 6 we got that is for 1 by 3 it is 2 by 6 and the second number is also 2 by 6 and we are equal which means 1 is to 3 and 2 is to 6 are equivalent. I hope this question is clear. I have showed you two three ways how to solve this problem. Now in case you have any other question or doubt, you just write down the complete question. I'll try to make a video on that. Thank you so much for watching.